apple cider vinegar. It's actually quite popular, isn't it? I've got a lot of people who tell me that they drink it every morning and it's really gained in popularity because it has potential health benefits. But when it comes to your teeth, apple cider vinegar can be quite damaging and I'm going to show you why shortly. When it comes to apple cider vinegar, people swear by it, but it is actually a problem for your teeth. So I always recommend if you're going to use it, there's a few things you need to do afterwards to protect your teeth. So make sure you stay with me as I'm gonna go through that with you later. I'm Dr. Rachel, holistic dentist, and I've got over 30 years experience. And I wanna tell you about what I've seen with apple cider vinegar, ACV, Apple cider vinegar has been touted for various health benefits, but it's important that we kind of take a critical look at this because research is a little bit inconclusive. So here are some of the potential benefits of ACV, blood sugar control. Some studies show that it helps lower your blood sugar, it brings those down after meals, and that can potentially benefit in control of insulin, insulin resistance, and therefore people who are diabetic, type one, or even type two. It's said that apple cider vinegar helps with weight loss. Now there's limited evidence. Some research says that ACV may do this because it increases your feelings of fullness and therefore you don't need to eat so much and you're gonna reduce your calorie intake. There's studies about improved heart health. It may lower cholesterol levels, improve your heart disease, by reducing the oxidation of the LDL, which is you know, what we call the bad cholesterol. The acetic acid in apple cider vinegar is antimicrobial, so it may help to kill harmful bacteria and fungi. People swear that it improves their digestive health, that it helps with issues like heartburn and acid reflux, because you're actually introducing some more acid into your system, so that improves your digestion. But what are the potential side effects? Well, consuming too much apple cider vinegar can lead to things like tooth erosion, throat irritation, low potassium levels, acid reflux due to irritation of your esophagus, digestive upset like nausea and vomit, vomiting. It may interact with your medications. It can actually have an impact on your insulin and diuretics. Uh, but seeing as I'm a dentist, let's have a look at the risk to your teeth. The problem here is high acidity. It's a fermented apple juice with high acidity. And this is in the pH range of about two to three, which is the same as Coca-Cola and your stomach acid. Now, let's compare that to something like water, which is pH neutral, which is around seven, and this is what the pH of your mouth should ideally sit close to. Now, when there's acidity, that dissolves and weakens your tooth enamel. So apple cider vinegar can erode your enamel. It's taking away the hard protective outer layer of your teeth. Now that enamel damage weakens your tooth, it makes them more susceptible to cavities. So you've got weakened enamel, bacteria are allowed to penetrate the tooth and that can lead to cavities. You get thin enamel, you get sensitivity because that exposes the underlying dentine layer and that contains little tubules like tunnels that run down to your nerve and that causes painful sensitivity to hot, cold and sweet things. Now your teeth become more porous, therefore they stain more easily. The acid eats away at the enamel, it makes your teeth porous and pitted, it leads to staining and more plaque buildup and guess what? Yeah, higher risk of tooth decay and gum disease. With erosion, if you have prolonged over a long period of time and a frequent use of apple cider vinegar, it dissolves the enamel. It can eat away and erode it. This causes loss of tooth structure and they, it can be quite severe where you just completely strip away the enamel from the teeth and then it eats through into the softer layer. That ruins your teeth and ruins your bite. I often see patients who've got tooth sensitivity. They've got partial to complete loss of their tooth enamel. Their teeth have gone dark. 
because as the enamel thins, you can see the dentine and that also gets stained. You can see damage at the edges of the fillings and crowns, early failure of dental work because of the damage of the acidity. So what are the limited benefits maybe of apple cider vinegar for your teeth? Well, some people claim it can whiten your teeth. There's no evidence to support this. Fact is, it's erosive and it's gonna actually make your teeth look more yellow because it thins and strips your enamel. Teeth are made of calcium-based minerals. They're very susceptible to erosion by acids and this is how tooth decay starts the bacteria eat sugar they poop out lactic acid and that dissolves and erodes your tooth enamel then the bacteria migrate inside your tooth to start eating your tooth tooth structure is made once the body can never produce more vinegar is acetic acid saliva is pushed beyond its capacity to protect your teeth from this acidic level especially when you use it neat swooshing this stuff around your mouth just magnifies the harm to a just a crazy extent now apple cider vinegar can do a great deal of harm to tooth structure i've seen all of the enamel eroded from teeth and once this has happened it's really difficult to repair and restore and it's also very expensive as well so if you want to use apple cider vinegar how are you going to limit damage to your teeth now if you still choose to use it then extreme dilution is critical mix a small amount maybe one or two teaspoons with a large glass of water before you consume it and that's going to minimize the acidic effect on your teeth never ever ever swish with undiluted apple cider vinegar or lemon juice I want you to rinse your mouth thoroughly with water after you've consumed apple cider vinegar so you can flush away any lingering acid. Use xylitol. Suck on a xylitol mint after consuming anything vinegary, acidic, like apple cider vinegar. And this is going to increase the saliva flow. It's going to minimize bacterial activity and it's going to bathe your mouth with minerals to counter the acid demineralization, increase the pH level so we get more neutral, more alkaline, and you're going to get remineralization. I want you to use hydroxyapatite toothpastes as part of your dental health routine. This helps replenish your enamel with calcium and phosphorus. Hydroxyapatite is the building blocks of your teeth. I'm going to link to some videos on that for you. Do not, whatever you do, do not brush your teeth for at least 30 minutes after using apple cider vinegar or consuming anything acidic, and that includes soft drinks, um, vinaigrettes. I want you to make sure you really wait before you brush because your enamel's gone soft, it's eroding, and then you scrub it, you actually scrub your enamel away and you make the problem worse. Don't use apple cider vinegar first thing in the morning. Let your mouth wake up a little bit first. Just drink some water when you get up, allow your saliva glands to juice up and wake up before you do your apple cider vinegar. When you have your ACV, through a straw. Do it through a straw. Keep that vinegar off your teeth. With a straw, you can suck it in, get it to the back of your mouth, and get it down quickly. Drink some plain water afterwards and reduce the amount of days that you're drinking apple cider vinegar and give your teeth a break. Allow them chance to recuperate. Using apple cider vinegar or anything acidic like lemon juice it demineralizes your teeth it sucks the minerals out of them it makes your enamel weak the key to healthy teeth is to have an environment where the biochemistry helps your teeth remineralize this is a favorable biochemical state and i've made this video here so you know how to remineralize your teeth protect your tooth enamel and reduce your risk of tooth decay and in some cases even reverse it. So you're going to want to check this out.